My favorite subreddit recently has been r slash rare insults because it's just the kind of funny creative stuff that you really don't hear often. I love it so much. Well, I found this other subreddit called r slash oddly specific and it's sort of the same thing except they're not necessarily insults, but it's just amazing. Enjoy. <laughs> when people say they were weird as a child, but I used to ask my mom for a raw russet potato so I could go outside and gnaw on it sadly in the rain and pretend I was living through the Irish potato famine. Can I ask, what piqued your interest in doing this as a, as a little child? <laughs> Were your ancestors in the Irish potato famine? Is it in your blood to just want to gnaw on a potato sadly out in the rain? <laughs> I'm begging y'all to remember that you're naming people, not just babies. A 17 year old will have that name. A 28 year old will have that name. A 43 year old will have that name. A 77 year old grandparent will have that name. Maybe we should rethink choosing McKensley Grayson. Yes, I'm shaming. Wanting a less common name is cool, but naming your child KitchenAid Whiskey Jones is borderline abuse. <laughs> I've got the perfect idea for for when I have children, I'm gonna name my firstborn son McDonald's KFC. Never stop dating your wife. Pick her up in your 1997 Mercury Sable, take her to TGI Fridays, hold in a nervous fart during Wally, -E, and never stop dating your wife. Well, I'm not married, but thank you. I'll never stop dating my wife. The bad guy in Hallmark movies is a boyfriend who is like, uh, no babe, I can't drop everything, plus leave work this weekend. I'm about to close a deal for $10 million that will set us up for life. And the good guy is a guy who is just standing there when she gets to her hometown. Can someone tell me who the demographic is for these films? I've never seen someone genuinely sit down, watch these movies, and think, wow, this is peak cinema. Ellen DeGeneres' brother defends talk show host for supporting Kevin Hart. Oh. Didn't know she had a brother. I've never seen a family with a stronger PE teacher gene. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're afraid to share ideas, remember someone once said in a meeting, let's make a film with a tornado full of sharks. Okay, this is just a bad, bad example because that is the best movie ever made. So I, I don't really know what they're talking about here. Becky Brown, 47, alcoholic, unemployed, activist, bisexual, mum to three kids and five dogs, vegan, mentally unstable, divorced, widow, dead inside, chicken nuggets addict. Oh, Becky, if you were an animal, you'd be my spirit animal. You ever sneeze so hard you can see the matrix code out of the corner of your eyes? No? <laughs> Don't tell me it's real. Restaurant managers love to walk around like an undercover cop. Just some guy named Dan in khakis and Apollo like, I hope you're enjoying your meal. Dude, I was until you materialized at her table like Dracula. I'm stressed as hell now. Am, am I in trouble? I want to speak to my lawyer. Office culture is someone bringing in donuts and everyone for some reason refusing to take a whole one and cutting off three eighths of the donut. And then at the end of the day, there's like 17 25ths of nine different donuts left. I want to be the guy that just takes one whole donut and ruins everyone else's day. I have an unsurpassed love for sweaters. If it's baggy and looks like sadness, I want it. 90% of NFL commentators jobs is being like, and I tell you, John, these guys, are, these guys, these guys want to win this one. I feel like that's most sports. Like if you watch UFC, it's just them going like, hey, he, he hit that jab and uh, he's looking slow. Oh, he's fast now. Oh, oh, but well, he's slow again. POV, the HR lady who majored in psychology at a no-name school in Florida is about to throw your resume in the trash. <laughs> The best part of being a flight attendant has to be when you walk the aisle saying trash to everyone's face. Oh, <laughs> you know, I didn't even think of it like that. I wonder if that's genuinely what they do to recharge their spirit. I love when customers say compliments to the chef. I'm out like, sir, we don't have a chef. That's Tyler back there. He's 19, stoned out of his mind and been cooking for three weeks. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. Happy three year anniversary to working in a coffee shop at 6 a.m. And my first customer was this lady in a fox costume on her way to surprise chase her daughter, who was afraid of mascots, down the street in Chicago. <laughs>
Why? <laughs> I'm really interested to know the relationship between mother and daughter here. Is it a good one or a bad one? <laughs> Every time I say my cat's name, she looks at me like I just told her that her husband died at sea. <laughs> Is it true? Everyone's autistic now. Okay. My single 63-year-old neighbor with $1.2 million of model trains in his basement who wrote a 90-page letter to the city about the brightness of streetlights when I was growing up was just a regular guy then. Nah. That's autism. American badges look like they're about to drag you into a back alley and pull a shiv on you to demand money for their meth habit. European badges look like they're about to invite you over for a cup of tea and some custard creams at their little cottage in the countryside. <laughs> you got those descriptions on point, dude. I've always seen a European badger, but never have I seen an American one. He wants to destroy. Honestly, who the hell actually likes sparkling water? That stuff tastes like TV static. But some of the TV static is flavored. Mmm. What if you put milk in a humidifier and trapped a lactose intolerant person with it in a chamber and watch as they sob and poop uncontrollably on the ground clawing at the door? <laughs> Gosh, uh, you should direct a new Saw movie. Like, what? how do you think of that? <laughs> Being an adult means not having your bed pushed up against a corner. That is literally the only criteria. Am I not an adult yet? My bed's in a corner. If I woke up tomorrow as a horse, first thing I'd do is eat a whole apple with the core in one bite. I bet it would be really nice. Then I would kick whatever's behind me. <laughs> Classic horse things. The main thing that puts me off playing chess is that there's 2,000 years of gameplay that hundreds of people with higher IQs than me have spent thousands of hours studying the history of. So much so that when I put the pawn forward, they say, oh, I see you're going for the Bulgarian somersault. And then I try to take their bishop with my knight and they go, ah, oh, rookie mistake. You played the Frenchman's poop sock. And in approximately 37 moves, I'll have one. The more random people you see jogging for no reason, the higher the rent is going up. <laughs> Especially when you see them jogging with Lululemon. Good luck, buddy. That rant's going up. My right hand has been crafted into a dragon's fist. My left hand has perfected the tiger's claw. My heart remains pure. Do you understand? Nope. No, not at all, buddy. Oh my gosh. He looks like the German villain in a comedy about figure skating. <laughs> he does. His name's probably like Verstappen. Gutentinkel. Reminder that Tarantino wrote a scene in From Dust Till Dawn while Selma Hayek pours tequila down her leg and forces a guy to drink it by sucking on her toes and then cast himself in that role. You can't blame him for it. <laughs> You're telling me you wouldn't do that if you had the chance. <laughs> I can't stand honest college kids. I just asked this girl, hey, why aren't koalas considered bears? And she hits me with, they're marsupials. Shut up, nerd. The answer to the joke is they don't have the qualifications. You're no fun. Atheist, imagine you're going skydiving with a Christian baby. Huh? Suddenly, the baby tells you he won't open his parachute until you renounce atheism and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What would you do? I'm kind of hung up on the skydiving with a Christian baby thing. <laughs> People from Wyoming are in my mentions insulting me for dissing their state yesterday, and I'm just imagining them furiously riding a horse to a McDonald's in Utah just so they could get Wi-Fi and tweet at me. Gosh, bro came in for a round two. Tonight at work, a customer ordered three meatballs, ate them all, ordered three more meatballs, ate those two, told his server to take empty plates before his wife got there wife gets there, the server takes both of their orders, and he goes, I think I'll try the meatballs. What was he hiding? <laughs> Is he on a meatball restriction? <laughs> I think I understand, meatballs can be addicting. <laughs> Office jobs are so funny because you'll be 24 and your greatest enemy in the world is a 55 year old woman named Betty from finance. I'm gonna kill her. We cater any event, weddings, graduation, Horse funeral, drug intervention, Tuesdays, horse funeral, a quiet night alone, return of gym, anniversary of horse funeral, come inside for a free consultation. You know, I was just looking for catering for my horse funeral. Welcome to Burger King. Um, we are short staffed. 
please be patient with the stuff that did show up. There is a demon in the fridge. No one wants to work anymore. What? How? Taylor Swift makes music for the people that pronounce the L's in tortilla. So white people? <laughs> well, that was a lot of oddly specific uh, statements, but I loved it. Did you guys like it? Are you still here? Are you still watching? <laughs> Am I still interesting to you? Do you love me?